What's going on? It is Simplistic. And welcome back to another video. You know, with being a creator, I'm always willing to explore and expand with more types of content. It's always good to be on the lookout for what's hot, literally. There are so many different communities for every topic on YouTube, ranging from far and wide. You name it, it most likely exists. Vlogs, challenges, pranks, food, makeup, cars, toys, the list goes on forever. But recently, one stood out more than the rest. It's very specific, but I'm I'm talking about mukbang. Bro is really trying to hop on every wave at this point. But for real, I always get told by the majority of people who watch me is that they always have to have something in front of them to eat. One stood out more than the rest and it has to be noodles. I am super excited to dive into something new. Let's start off the journey by going grocery shopping and getting the goods at 99 Ranch Market. I absolutely love this place because they have a variety of different items that I've never heard of before in my life. It's kind of like traveling without having to board a plane. So instead of flying for 12 plus hours, let's go take a step inside. We're gonna make our way to that aisle, but real quick, I just spotted something insane. Boba milk tea brown sugar in a can. Without a doubt, this would just hit different. I mean, while we're here, we might as well pick up some exotic beverages. Thai tea, need that. Oh, after school, this would be my go-to, especially the big one aloe vera it's not only fire for your skin but also your taste buds pause and of course we need to pick up the ramoon soda all the real ones out there know it's really interesting the way to open it is by popping this and then a little marble fall just from opening it you're gonna have a great experience lychee orange melon peach Ooh, hawaiian blue just like my bed sheets bro Hello Kitty and Naruto, come on. Hold up, I might really need to scout this place. Like what kind of vegetable is that? They out here selling tree trunks. I might have to use it for decoration or something. Hey, not for real, growing up in my hometown, it was actually like over 90% Asian, so I know what's good. I'm tapped in. I heard incredible things about their ice cream. Boba mochi matcha green tea, instantly added to the cart. Mini soft serve. I think these look like the same exact ones they sell at McDonald's, except it comes in this bright red, beautiful box. Oh my God, there's so many different kinds. Hold up, a little collab with the Mexican culture. Stir fried ramen, it looks like some elote street corn. Okay, woo! Go, oh, man, I'm hyped. Black bean sauce. I wouldn't consider this fitting in my palate, but I'm always down to try new things. Wow, I'm honored. I'm in the presence of the king of spice. It like warns you all over the packaging too. Look at those peppers, two times spicy. This guy looks like he's physically in pain. That's how I'm trying to be. What's the worst that could happen? What the heck is that thing looking at me funny for? Is that an issue? Yeah, that's what I thought. Stand there. Wasn't doing that a second ago. Now that we are back home, I got cozy. We're feeling amazing. But in the back of my mind, I just have to mentally prepare for the discomfort I am going to feel in my stomach by the end of this challenge. This is no joke. From what I've seen, people are red faced and sniffling when they eat this. Behind me, we have them all laid out on the table. I actually bought one of every flavor in existence. And we got them in different varieties. We have them in the packets, in the cups. We got options. There is a lot of unique and sick looking bags here, I do gotta say. I just respect the creativity. I really gotta find the graphic designer and just stack them up for the work that he or she put in. But with that being said, how this will work is there will be 10 rounds ranging from the least to the most spiciest ramen. And my goal is to eat and successfully complete each bowl entirely to be able to move on. Until I get to the final boss, which is the times two spiciest Edition, which is the hottest in the world, which at that point, I'll be adding this entire bottle of the fire sauce that they use to make it even more intense. Also, I will be letting a generator I found online ask me a random question for each round. What I also discovered is that the same company also makes extremely hot dumplings, but let's save that for another time. Listen, we have a lot of eating and cooking to do. Chef Simplistic is in the building. Let's get to work. So you know when people double it and give it to the next person? Well, we are going to quadruple it and start off with number one, which is quattro cheese. To be honest, one of my favorite ingredients in any meal has to be cheese, so I already know this is gonna be enjoyable. Before we really get into it, do you have anything to say? Kiki, are you hungry? Now that's what I'm talking about. Here it is, let's begin. This is our first enemy. Doesn't really look too intimidating. It should be a piece of cake, but <laughs> who knows? And of course you already know, I wasn't about to eat this with a fork. It's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. I came with the chopsticks, baby. I really should not face any problems, but I don't want to speak too soon. Let's get a big bite. The color looks stunning, nice and orange. Mm. There's, oh, 
Oh, there is a kick. There is, and I'm not talking about a streaming platform. Mm. If this is number one, I'm trembling in my Jordans right now. Currently rocking the bare feet ones. And remember, all of this must be gone to be able to complete the round successfully. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. Mm. Uh, oh, not an enjoyable burp. So far, not too shabby. Even though I'm skinny plastic right now, I'll be able to take this down. Makes me want to give you guys such a big smooch right now. And if you made it to this point in the video, drop a like. You deserve it. I'd be lying if I said this wasn't yummy though. Mm. Let's do some ASMR. You see, I would do this mukbang style, but we have so much more to complete. But let me know if you guys want to see something like that in the future. Bulldog Noodles does not mess around with any of their products. We got to complete it though. It's only level one. Who is my favorite YouTuber and what is my dream collab? Number one has to be my boy, Phase Rug. Say what you want, the glazing is crazy. Moving to the technology side of the platform, I really love MKBHD, Marquez Brownlee, an influencer I really miss who I used to enjoy a lot because of his content, but he stopped making it is Jideon. But then again, putting that to the side, I highly value his morals. But luckily, if we're talking pranks, I love Low. From how monotone he is, he's hilarious. Eric is up there due to the quality, time, and effort that he shows. And to be honest, the list can just keep going on and on and on. I'm even a fan of some people who have less than 10,000 subscribers. It really doesn't matter. I think everyone is special in their own way, and every individual has their own style too. But attached to that, what is my dream collab? If I had to choose because I'm an OG, I would have to pick my guy, Casey Neistat, the man who influenced me the most. The way I film and shoot is because of him, and I would love to cross paths one day. All of it, all of it. Oh. That right there really showed me what I'm up against. Our first beverage is Cola Ramoon. And you have to use this little plastic device that they provide to push it down to be able to drink it. Come on, bro. Pop open. Come on, bro. I'm almost there. Oh, I got it. Look, there it is. It tastes like a cherry Coca-Cola, but sweeter. Moving on to number two, we have Mr. Pinkity Dinkity over here, Creamy Carbonara. I would consider this a little bit more on the Italian side. It's more like a pasta. I'm a real sucker when it comes to fettuccine alfredo, so I already know this is about to hit different. All right, so the texture already is a lot thicker than before. They are very flat. It looks like little ribbons, but come on, let's get to it. Uh. All right, this is about to get handled. Not really spicy whatsoever. I really wish I had Patrick's superpower to be able to inhale everything. That would be so sick. But anyway, where have I traveled to and what's the next place I want to go to? I'm the type of person that if you say you want to hop on a flight in the next hour, I am down to anywhere in the world. But let's list everywhere I've been in the United States alone. I've been to California, obviously, I live here. Arizona, Nevada, Washington, Idaho, Texas, Massachusetts, New York, Florida, Georgia, and Hawaii. Out of country, Canada, Brazil, Europe, but more specifically, Italy, France, and London. But the next location would just have to be Japan. I mean, I think that's on everyone's bucket list. Mm. It's so good. I just want to experience something completely out of the ordinary and everything down to the toilets is so advanced. The technology is insane. You could really get the craziest items out of a vending machine. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Hold on, that kind of punched me out of nowhere. <sighs> Ooh, we're about to clear it. The last bits. Ah. Oh, we earned this blue Naruto. A little bit of a challenge there, but I'm not gonna back down. Okay. Mm. Bubble gum. <sighs> it's cooling me down. Thank the Lord. Quick game show. Is it A, a prosthetic leg? B, popcorn? C, an iPhone, or D, a tomato. We now, for number three, have tomato pasta. Some of the ingredients in here could give us a little kick, but I doubt it would affect my overall health bar. I think I'm staying at 100 HP for sure. The appeal already looks darker, which is not a good sign. <laughs> Uh, sheesh, okay. This is about to be one of those. I want to point out my lips have gone completely numb, so if I'm talking with a lisp, please understand. Mm. Wow, this is giving a mixture of basil, oregano, garlic. It's almost as if it was freshly picked from a garden, but not a very friendly one. Mm. Oh my gosh. If it was my last day on earth, what would I do? And also, what would I eat as my last meal? I would 100% spend time with family. Has to be my top priority with my loved ones. Do all of my favorite activities, whether it's go to a beach, 
do some self-care. Oh, my nose is runny. <sighs> or play one of my favorite sports like basketball or go skateboarding. And what I would consume, that's hard. Some street tacos, a medium rare steak <sighs> with 24 karat gold, why not? Spaghetti, spumoni ice cream, a Shirley Temple, a bunch of my favorite candies, Sour Patch Kids, the watermelon edition. I can't even think. Let's just leave it at that. Even though I have a ton more that I would love to keep adding on, I just can't. Mm. I need some motivation. Ah, it's all mental. Ah, mm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes, sir. You really did that. Sounds pretty weird, but we have yogurt. You know the drill. Ah. Oh, sounded like a fart. That's not that bad. I would get this again. Ooh, okay, with number four, this is more down my alley for all my Hispanics out there. We have habanero lime. I'm used to eating a lot of Mexican food, candy, and snacks, so this should be very similar. My Hispanic and Latino community stand up. We're on a mission to complete this task. So without further ado, vato. Bro, why did this whole thing stick together? In the shape, too. Very citrusy. It's probably all that acid coming from the lime. Ah, mm, yep. We're on a good roll. This right here, my face screams devotion. But who are my favorite artists? And no, I'm not talking about Picasso or Van Gogh. As of right now, Drake, Brent Fiaz, been getting back into Kendrick Lamar, Mac Miller, and Gunna. It's a lot of rap, but I do dabble into other genres. I just love music as a whole. Ah. Oh, that was a big clump of sauce. <gasps> Fire breathing like a dragon right now. Making my way downtown, not moving fast. Faces past, and I'm homebound. Da -na 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 -na. Uh, uh, uh. That's right, another one bites the dust. I really don't know how much more of this I could take. Oh, we are presented with Melon Dew. Uh, uh, uh. All I wanna say congratulations. Work so hard, forgot how to vacation. Uh. Yo, this sneaks up on you. It's shocking. It tastes like a lemon warhead. <clears throat> Number five, we have little Stewie Griffin, AKA Stew Type. And also I read that the broth looks like blood. We might be finally getting into some real heat. My entire face has gone numb. It's tingling and we are halfway through at this point. Give myself a pat on the back. I mean, this is damn near pitch black, but that ain't gonna stop me. I'm not too sure what's going on. My awareness is at 0%. My entire brain is foggy. I am going through the motions. Mm. Oh, that cannot be real. Kind of strange because you get a hint of sweetness and it goes right back to inflaming my butthole. Hold on, hey yo, pause. Took me too long to catch that one. That's how you know it's bad. What is my favorite quote? My all time is keep it simple. Hence why the name of my channel is simplistic. <sighs> I love the overall meaning. It's also the way I love to live, carry myself within my lifestyle. Next is you miss all of the shots you don't take and that kind of influence my brand shoot your shot and right after is the only thing that we have to fear is fear itself in this situation fits perfectly mm. <sighs> that was a big chunk <sighs> i want to pull all of my hair out not that deep calm down intensity is ramping up i'll tell you that my eyes are watering the smell is no bueno mm. No noodle left behind. I found that the best strat is to get giant portions at once and to just force it. <sighs> this sensation in my mouth is indescribable. That calls for an intermission, AKA a bathroom break. It's about to explode. On a daily basis, my mind is running faster than the speed of lightning because of all the tasks that I have to get done. The sad thing is I don't prioritize good nutritious foods to function properly and live more efficiently due to my heavy workload, which is really bad because that is crucial to being more productive. Luckily for me, I found Factor. It is a meal prep plan designed by a team of gourmet chefs that create each meal using only real ingredients with integrity to make you feel your best all day long. It has been so helpful and time saving with the high quality delicious meals that get delivered fresh and never frozen straight to my door. Literally every dish has supported my healthy lifestyle and can even meet your preferences too, whether it's calorie smart, vegan and veggie, protein plus, and many more wholesome options. Not only do they supply me with good eats, but they are great at any time of the day, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or just as a snack. Adjust order sizes accordingly and stick to your goals that matter most. If you are tired of worrying like 
I once was, head to factor75.com or click the link down below and use Simplistic50 for 50% off your first Factor box. And now, back to the video. Let me tell you, that wasn't pretty. That's why I chose pit. Bro looks like the Joker with makeup. Ooh, that sounded familiar. The bubbles are helping. Not giving up, not for you guys, not for anyone. Not for my mom, my dad, my family, my sisters, my cousins, my grandma, not a soul. During the holidays or really any season, everyone loves a bonus. This is the special edition rose. Don't worry, it's non-alcoholic, but it does sound fancy. With number six, every single time I go out to eat Korean barbecue, I love this. We have kimchi. It's basically vegetables like onions and radish with lots of spices and herbs. And it's mainly used as a side dish. But by the way, this will flame my mouth. It might be the main character. These sticks were made for walking and that's what they'll do. Just watch when these sticks walk all over. I'm delusional. Where's Peter Griffin when you need him? At least Lois. The current state of my intestines probably is comparable to a black hole. That's instant. Oh. Okay. All I can ask, please no screenshots. I'm at a loss for words. Taking Squidward bites. I would say I got full about one to two hours ago. This is purely torture. We are getting serious. What is the hardest part about my relationship? Will you get married soon? And how long have me and my girlfriend been together? Nobody is exactly how you want them to be. Everyone has flaws. We are all rough around the edges and have things to work on. Overall, I believe communication is very important and could lead to a lot of arguments if not solved then and there. Furthermore, my particular job takes a lot of my time away from her, which could sometimes lead to problems. Without a doubt, I found my wife. We will be getting married sometime in the near future, and we have been dating for what is coming up on two years. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this is my least favorite, tastes like metal. This just has to be some sort of karma or punishment. Forgive me for what I did. Mm. So unfair. And that is a wrap. Oh, I feel woozy. Let me take a breather. We have orange, our savior. Reminds me of a high C or Kool-Aid. Damn, one of the hardest things I'll ever put myself through, for real. Progressively, I'm sure y'all noticed the energy change. I apologize. This is a 1v1 battle. Uh -huh. oh. 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 I was trying to buy a new iPhone from the Apple store to prank my best friend by smashing his, then surprising him with a new one. The ball that I was at though, did not allow filming and took it very harshly to the point where they called the cops and security. As I was exiting on my way to my car, I ended up getting caught up. About 10 different sheriffs and officers surrounded me and directly just put me in handcuffs and in the back of their car for no absolute reason. I guess I was trespassing is what they find it as but I literally meant no harm. Sucks that I had to go through that, but you know, it happens. Speed run, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm starting to sweat. I believe I have a mild fever. My face is completely red, but let's try cherry blossom for size. I'm going psycho, man. <sighs> Every single year, us humans damage the planet more and more. Let's finally make a change, put our foot down, make a difference by going green with barbecue bean. I never really heard of a flavor like this before. It's very foreign to me, but I'm all for it. Plus the homie on the packaging looks like he's about his business. It's indescribable, the pain that I'm going through. And the fact that some humans choose out of their own will to do this to themselves is beyond me. Oh, 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 mm -mm. Mm -mm. uh uh, nope. Oh, mind over matter, mind over matter. Please, I've come too far to quit or give up. No reaction. Okay, never mind. I was joking. That's what I like to call a hole in one, a touchdown, and a goal. I would not wish this upon my worst enemy. Listen, I'ma just keep it a buck. During that last level, I ran to my nearest sink and y'all can probably guess what ended up happening. I'm not gonna say it to gross you guys out, but I did have to make room for the last few rounds, but it just goes to show that I'm not easy to get taken down without a fight. The amount that I endure for y'all, I deserve a round of applause. Mr. Strawberry, come to the rescue. Oh. Totally forgot, do I have any pet peeves? When people chew very loud and whenever people don't follow through with their word, I hate it. At that point, they're just yapping, doing a lot of talking, no action. That 
This is me off. Number eight. Hey, come on. You all know me. I am Mr. Shoot Your Shot. That's what I do for a living. And I'm hitting 30 like curry because we have curry. This type of dish is mainly known in the Indian culture and can be extremely hot. It's something that will burn your nostrils from a mile away. It's really not looking good because the more and more I inch to the finish line, I'm tending not to have a filter, which could get me in some trouble. But this feeling has to be the same as people that are on hard Mm. Oh, oh, mm -mm. Ooh. Ah. talk to me nice. Talk to me nice. <sighs> I'm a monster. <sighs> I'm a beast. I'm tapping it at this. That's it. Okay. It's basically done. Call me all the names in the book. What are some of the scariest moments in my life? When I was very little, my aunt left me alone for like a few minutes and I almost drowned until she came back and pulled me up. I have to add the moment I was in the scariest car crash ever. I made an entire separate video on it, but it was raining. I hit a puddle, lost control. I started drifting sideways for a while as I looked to the left and saw a bunch of headlights beaming in my eye. I thought I was a goner. Luckily, I lived to tell the story. And finally, all the times to leave my comfortable house to go do haunted investigations. I don't believe in ghosts. I'm not scared of other beings. I think it's just very terrifying being out in maybe dangerous parts of a city or town that I could possibly get robbed or unalive. Do not try this at home, especially without parental supervision. Thus far, everything has been dreadful. Let's pop this Hello Kitty and get on with it. Ugh. This reminds me of vanilla cream. I'd be surprised if my mouth could take much more. Hey, hold hot. Number nine. I am trembling and frightened at the fact that this one doesn't even have a name. They didn't bother. I'm gonna just go ahead and call it that black pack. Wish me good luck. I know it can't talk, but I can only imagine if it could, it's calling me a little sissy. Well, the suffering is almost over. My nose hairs are engulfed in flames. And as crazy as this sounds, I'm thankful for this experience. To know not to ever do it again. Would you look at this? An old fashioned stare down. I am met face to face with a demon. Uh. Uh. Mm. Uh-uh, one flew out. Oh, what would I do with my earnings? As soon as I receive the money, everyone in my family is getting a house. Then everything else would be an investment for my future and my kids. It really just depends if I'm a millionaire or a billionaire. I'm gonna keep it at that short and sweet. I'm legit drooling. Oh, uh, and just like that. Oh, <laughs> That one wasn't playing any games. It's like I'm on a roller coaster that just keeps ramping up and there's no drop. I'm about to fly to the islands because we have Hawaiian blue. Oh, it gets the taste out, but not the heat. Let me process what's happening. Without further ado, we're moving on to the final round. I already hired an entire team and company to make my gravestone because we have the red pepper times two spicy Bull dot. I have medical on standby and a toilet nearby. Kiss me goodbye. Without further ado, bring it in. This could possibly be a career ruiner. This thing got some weight to it. All I can really ask for is to show a ton of support. Let's get to dumping. Ugh. But wait, there's more. Let's make something clear. By no means will I be attempting to finish this monstrosity. I'ma just see how long I can go. Dog, I really transformed into a witch brewing up a potion. Let the games begin. Mm, 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 mm. Ah, ah. Ah, this is the last stretch. Ah, ah. The thing is, the temperature itself is boiling. Bro's blowing on it. Ooh. Uh, uh, uh. I really gotta understand how Matt Stoney be doing this. Oh, 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 oh. This is barely helping. The hallucinations are going stupid. Like the Lord for ice cream. More dripping coming from my nostrils. The suffering I put myself through for y'all. Ah. Oh, it won't stop. Mm. <coughs> uh.
This is unbearable. Uh, crazy enough, this is Ramoon flavored popsicles. You know what? I really do not care. Uh, as much as I wish I could take more giant bites, I physically cannot. I will gladly face defeat. But anyway, I hope you guys do enjoy. Please drop a like, subscribe down below to get me to 2 million subscribers, and comment down below if you would be able to handle this. Cause I know I can't. One more for the boys, baby. Oh, oh. Peace out.